All right, kids. So today we're looking at holiday treasure from the Wisconsin Cheeseman. Now, I want to start this off by looking at their catalog. Give me a moment here, let me find this. They depict all the various uh, things that they sell in here and they make them look robust. You know, you know they show pictures of things and you know, so I flipped through here Actually, the, the item that I wanted to get, uh, they didn't have, and so I had to buy a different uh, selection. And so I came upon this one, and it was really not all that expensive. $20, I think. I think this was $20 that I paid for. And, of course, you know, they offer you uh, financing. They'll actually sell it to you, and then you can... Uh, set up a credit account with them. Wisconsin Cheeseman is the same company as the Swiss, what's that one called, the Swiss? I don't remember, anyhow. They have very similar kind of stuff, so. All right, so this is the Holiday Treasure. I think that Swiss, the Sweet Center Assortment is the one that I was going to get. But I got this one instead. You know what? It may not have even had been here in the uh, in the catalog. It may have just been Holiday Treasure. It may have just been something off their website. Because I'm not seeing a Holiday Treasure in the catalog that's this size. Everything else is much, much smaller or much bigger. Anyhow... So for nineteen dollars and ninety-five cents, now in the catalog, and this was the point that I was trying to make, in the catalog when they show these, you know, a picture of something like this little box here, it doesn't give you any kind of size except the overall package size, um, which should have been an in the oh holiday treasure. Here it is. Yes, it's this one right here, holiday treasure. That's the one right there that I bought. And it's $15.99, you can see there. Sausages and cheeses, petty fours. And you know, you look on here and of course, there's nothing to give you any scale. So I wonder how big it is. And then I get there and I get this little box. So we shall see, let's go ahead and use my tr trusty sailor's knife was a gift from somebody. I don't know who gave that to me. All right. Here's what we're... A little packing slip in here. And this is what it looks like inside the box. We have... See if I can adjust this so we can see it all. We have uh, two different salamis, two different cheeses, a little jar of hot mustard four chocolates, couple candies, and then four pedophores. Pedophores. So let's take a look at these. This is... <laughs> this is our tiny little cheeses. Boy, I would have expect... I was expecting something a bit bigger than this, I have to admit. I was really disappointed to see how small these are. This is... This is the size of a finger, you know? Okay, proudly uh, cheese, Wisconsin, two ounces of uh, Colby, two ounces of Colby cheese, and we have that, and then we have uh, two ounces of mild cheddar, and they're they're identical in size. So we have Colby, and we have a. Uh, mellow, mellow cheddar. All right, so those are our cheeses. Now we have, look how small this thing is. Look how tiny this thing is. 
summer sausage. It claims to be one and five eighths ounce. It's not even two ounces of summer sausage. One and five eighths ounces of summer sausage. And this is just plain summer sausage. The other one says it's also summer sausage. This is a garlic summer sausage. Look how small these things are. Look how tiny they are. You know, the catalog, it just doesn't, I don't think it's a honest representation, my, me personally. Okay, sweet and hot mustard. That's what this is, a little sweet and hot mustard. Uh, lids tight. Smells good. Smells nice and mustardy. We're going to try some here. All right, then we also have these, uh, I would assume from the wrapper, they're like a little strawberry, little strawberry candies. We have two of those. And then we have uh, little round foil wrapped festive looking, but little round. I think these are little hollow chocolates. Why don't we start with one of them? Just so we'll peel that open. It peels kind of like a, well, I don't know, any kind of foil wrapped chocolate or what have you. Yep, they're a little round, little, <laughs> about a 50 caliber round there for you muzzle loading guys. 58, 58, about a 58 caliber uh, round ball. Hmm. And it's solid chocolate, it's not hollow. It tastes good. Yeah. Not bad. Well, let's go to the tasting. All right. So for, for $15... You get two tiny little cheeses, two tiny little summer sausages, four little pieces of chocolate, two strawberry candies, and then we have four four little pedophores. So these are like little tiny cake-like things. Okay, so the, the cheese is proving formidable to get into without using a knife. Ooh, my knife is dull. My knife needs a good sharpening. All right, so here is our little cheese stick, and I'm just going to break off a piece. Breaks off rather clean. Hmm. It's at room temperature, so it's very soft. But I think even cold, it would still be on the softer side for a cheese. And it's pretty good. Pretty good for just a, a Colby or a cheddar. I'm going to put a little mustard on there. Mm. Mustard gives it a little something, something. Not bad. Not bad. Now, let me try the, uh, that was the cheddar. Now we're going to try the Colby, and it is e equally difficult to uh, get at with its packaging. Again, we'll do a little break here. Uh, see, this one's not, it's just bending, it's not breaking. I'll pull it apart. Then, broke but not not it didn't break as cleanly or as or as easily as the other one this one seems more elastic colby cheese that's pretty good it's a good little colby cheese but i mean there's not enough here for an order for one i mean that's about all there is so get a big old glob of mustard on there. Mm. That one's better without the mustard on it. The other one was better with the mustard on it. 
All right, so let's try this. Uh, that's the garlic. Let me try the regular summer sausage before I do the garlic one. I just think it'd be good to go in with a cleaner palate. And these are little, little sealed doohickers. See if we can tear that uh, open. All right. We have a rather obscene looking little pecker there. It smells pretty good. Cut off a piece. Looks like inside. Pretty, pretty good. Kind of a classic summer sausage. Good, but nothing spectacular, nothing out of the norm. Nothing out of uh, out of the ordinary. I'm gonna use a little toothpick to help me get down into the mustard there. Again, the the plain one, not this is the garlic summer, the plain summer sausage was better without the mustard. The mustard didn't help that any. And yet it's a good mustard, it's just the common the, the flavor combination wasn't great. Okay. So this is the garlic. Oh yeah, yeah, I can definitely smell garlic in there. Let me cut a little chunk of this off. Looks to be about the same inside. No real difference there. We'll see. Try some without the without the gar or mustard. And garlic gives it a nice flavor. I actually prefer the garlic one over the plain, but it's not overpowering with garlic. Sometimes you get these summer sausages like this and they just, you know, knock you over with the spice. This isn't bad. Again, I'm gonna try this one with some mustard. Mm. I think the problem is the mustard's just too overpowering for these. This uh, sweet and hot mustard really not all that hot it is sweet it's not that hot but it's, it's definitely overpowering for the subtle flavors in the summer sausage and the cheese um they they need a not quite so robust uh flavor um maybe just a simple stone ground or something would have been better so now i'm opening up the the petty force these are like little cakes that's what petty fours. If you've never seen a petty four before, they're just like a little, they're like a little piece of cake. Um, they're layered, very much so like a cake. Let me get one out. You see, they're just, they're just like a little piece of, like a little piece of, this one's got a little yellow dot on the top. So I'm going to assume this is lemon. See if I can get a clean cut across it. There we go. Mm hmm. Mm. Yep. Yeah, one. And you'll see the inside is like a cake. They're like little tiny personal cakes. Not bad. The label on the bottom of the petty fours, I was looking to see if it'd give you any kind of an indication as to what the flavors are. And it does not. It doesn't specify any kind of flavor. Like, it, you know, 
it doesn't say you've got a lemon or a mint or whatever. This one's got a, a green top instead of a yellow one. We're getting layered, but a bigger base this time. Hmm. Like a little bite of cake. Pretty good. These are right. They, they don't taste real fresh, though. I mean, they're not like, you know, dry and hard and they just don't, they're, they taste like, you know, they were made a month ago. Hmm. There's some dark with some white stripes. More of a mocha flavor. That one. Hmm. That was the best one out of the three. These petty fours are a big deal for them. You see the cover of their catalog. They've got uh, a whole bunch. Wisconsin Cheese Men, again, is the same company as, uh, what is it, the Swiss... I just thought of it a minute ago. I don't know. Swiss Colony. That's it. They're the same company as Swiss Colony. So the last one, it's got a little darker stripes on top. I don't know. I don't know what that flavor is. Not bad, but it's not good. Hmm. Well, anyhow, so that's Wisconsin Cheeseman. When you order something from Wisconsin Cheeseman, that's what you get. Hmm. Little strawberry hard candies. Hard candies. We'll uh, try those some other day. <clears throat> Fruit flavored hard candies, fruity bonbons, foiled chocolate balls. Oh. Uh, Oh, I see. It gives you uh, a dietary nutritional facts. Interesting. So the foiled chocolate balls, the little 58 caliber mini balls, are 100. There's four of them. They're 130 calories. I don't know they're 130 mm -hmm. calories a piece, or the four, mm -hmm. four pieces are 130 calories. I have. Well, <laughs> get some of that. Stuff off the petty pores on me. Um, the uh, the cheese are 230 calories. The fruity bonbons, that's that's these little candies. They're 40 calories. The mustard's 45 calories. The petty fours are 200 calories. And the sausage is 170 calories. So, uh, two, three, four, five. Uh, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight, all of it, about 800 calories if you ate the whole thing. So, sorry, I've got a doggo here that uh, thinks that she needs to get some of this, and she's not, because it's not good stuff for her, but, so not bad. Um, would I order this again? No, I would not order this for myself. A gift maybe to send to somebody else. You know, as a realtor, we quite often will send gifts to customers and stuff when we close a house or what have you. You know, we'll send a little package. So for that, it might be a, you know, a nice little treat kind of thing to send to somebody. But uh, to order this for myself, no, I would not. And, and that's my concern with doing this whole theme, you know. 
I want to speak highly of companies and, and let them have an opportunity to put their best foot forward. In fact, when I called this company and I, and I put together this order, I specifically told the girl that I'm interested in whatever their best sellers are. And she thought this little sampler is kind of like their best sellers. It's a little smoked sausage, a little chocolate, a little cheese, a little mustard. This is, and as you, as you go through their catalog, you'll see that they, that's all they have just in different sizes. You know, you get back into the back, you can get, um, you can buy individual, individual larger cheeses and, um, you can buy different uh, little meat sticks, but um, you can buy, you know, you can buy a whole assortment of sausages and and uh, little pepperoni sticks and and different things. You could buy whole hams from them. Um, so I don't know Wisconsin cheeseman. It's interesting. If you like uh, this kind of charcuterie kind of stuff. Um, I, I would say for charcuterie, it's kind of on the low end. Summer sausages are really nothing to write home about, but you know they're they're nice, a little smokiness to them. They're a little different, so I, I I'll give them you know kudos for that. But my overall impression was disappointing. I was hoping that they would at least you know be a be a block of cheese, not a little finger of cheese, you know? Um, I was expecting something about four times this size. Same with the sausages. I was expecting something, you know, six inches and an inch and a half in diameter at least, and not these little things. So kind of disappointing, but anyhow, there you have it, kids. There's my first review of mail order foods. Wisconsin Cheeseman, I would give them overall um, service, placing the order, getting the stuff to me. Um, I would give them 90% on that. They were pretty good about it. They got it to me quickly. I did not get a confirmation email from them. Go lay down. I did not get a confirmation email from them. I had to call back. The girl, when she placed my order, never took my email address. She didn't have it on record, so they had no way of getting it. She wrote down my phone number incorrectly, so they didn't have a phone number for me. So they, they were not sending me any kind of a confirmation email. So I don't know if they normally do that or not, but in my case, I didn't get one. So the initial girl that placed the order, I had to redo that, and I did call up and do the order. Maybe if I got online and just did an online order, placed it myself, I would have made sure all those things were correct, but... I'm old school and I call people on the phone to have them do something. So, so for, but delivery still, I'm going to say 60%, 60, 75% because of the errors made on the order making. Um, selection, it was a nice selection of different things that they make. So I'll give that a hundred percent, but, uh, and, and the quality of what was there, you know, the taste of the cheese, the taste of the chocolate, the taste of the petty fours, um, that all worked. My disappointment is serving size was diminutive at best, just very small. So it's kind of disappointing, but uh, my overall score, I'm gonna give Wisconsin Cheeseman a, a 60%. The the serving size really knocks them down as far as I'm concerned, so. Anyhow, I hope you enjoy this kind of thing. If you do, please do like and subscribe. Right about down about there is that little thumbs up button, hit the thumbs up button if you like this sort of thing. Um, and if you don't, please don't give me a thumbs down. Just give me a thumbs up all the time. <laughs> Uh, and anyhow, kids, be good, be careful, take good care of one another, and we'll have more for you in the near future. Bye.